Hey, Matt Choir. Good to see y'all. It's Mr. Woodward and Miss Gann. This is going to be all about rehearsing at home. And we want you to share this video with your family so that they know what you need to effectively sing at home during choir this year. So this is for you to know what we want from you, your family, to know how they can best help you be effective in rehearsals, okay? We're singing. Like, don't think that we're not going to sing this year. There's some concerns. There's some some science that we're going to have a look at. But but if you were concerned, we're singing. Isn't that great news? Miss Gann, take it away. Okay, singing at home. This is for you and your parents to look at tips to make your place a safe space to sing. Tips to help choir members be successful during distance learning. First, how to prepare to sing. Designate a workspace. Make sure you help you and your singers, uh, parents, set up a workspace where they can use a computer, sing, and move around comfortably. It may be helpful to have a door that you can close, like a closet or your bedroom is fine. Um, supplies you'll need. Music will be provided online, but all singers will need a pencil and paper. You will need headphones or speakers compatible with your laptop and device. Uh, we will not use paper music this year, so we'll have everything on iPads or some way uh, electronically where you can see it. You should be able to stand and breathe comfortably no matter where you're singing. Um, so as she said, a, a closet is a kind of a good idea if you don't have like your own private area. If you've got a bedroom, that's fantastic. Uh, we want to avoid something like the living room or the kitchen where there's a lot of other people, a lot of other sound. It's good for you to have privacy so that you can really sing out and not be worried. Oh, somebody else is listening. Okay. That said, bathrooms are gross. Don't rehearse in the bathroom. Don't take them in there. If you do need to go to the bathroom, just leave your device in your, your, your rehearsal space Go potty on your own and then come back. Do not bring the camera with you into the bathroom. Also, please be dressed appropriately. You should not be in your, I just rolled out of bed PJs. Please have full-blown clothes on, okay? We do want you to stand. You need to have good choral posture as you rehearse. We won't be, be standing the entire time, but anytime we sing, please be standing. Uh, make sure that you are visible. Your upper body from the waist up and your face should be on, on camera and the mic should be muted because if we all sing at the same time, it's going to sound like chaos. But Miss Gann and I, are we're good at our jobs, you know. Um, and it's we're going to be able to look at you and adjust your technique just by seeing you. So you do need to have your your body on camera, but the mic muted, okay? So like this, this is way too close. Don't do that, okay? This, also too close. A few of you guys pulled this move last year. Don't do that, okay? No, because I'm sitting down. Bad idea. Look, I get if you're in your emo phase and you hate the light in the outside world, but for class, we want to see this, Okay, you are standing. I can see you from the waist up. You are ready to sing. Hooray! If you're going to read music from the same device that you are um, watching class on, you need to find a way to get that device at eye level. Holding it up will not be comfortable. So find a music stand if you, if you can, or a bookcase, or something really high up so that you're device can sit here so you can read the music and not have to like hold it up and get all weird about it, okay? Um, if possible, have a separate device so, so that your camera can be um, on its own and you can read from something else. Okay, make a safe singing space. Let's talk about the do's and don'ts of that. Do give our choir students space. They may not be ready to share their work. Um, let's do another do. Do offer encouragement and positive feedback and do monitor sibling responses. 
What we don't want to do is tease them about their singing, uh, draw attention to their singing before they're ready to share it, and definitely don't offer advice to young singers may be uh, really easily embarrassed, especially around family members. Remember, it's like you're sharing your soul uh, when you're singing, so make sure you protect that and um, parents protect them from being shamed or uh, feeling uncomfortable singing. We want them to be as comfortable as possible. How to respond if a choir member says they're bad at singing? I hear that all the time. Here's what you can say. What do you not like about what you hear? I hear these good things, so positivity for sure. You're learning and growing. It's okay to not be perfect. Remind them to ask their directors questions. We can help. Please let us know what we can help with. When they they say they can't do it, yet you can't, oh, so when they say they can't do it, say yet. You can't do it yet, but you're on the right track. Um, for rehearsal to be successful, make sure that um, they're being supported and not uh, having the critical um, uh, speaking uh, from parents or from other siblings or any other negativity. Let's keep it positive. Remember, people are singers. Um, often uh, our age, the age that we're at, the high school age, um, experience voice changes. Girls and boys both experience voice changes. Encourage them to sing through the voice cracks and remind them it's only temporary. Singing can feel very personal and vulnerable. Many young singers aren't used to singing alone, so we must be patient and we must be kind. If any of y'all have questions, please email us, mwoodwa at neisd.net or agan at neisd.net. We'll do our best to answer them. I cannot guarantee that we will be able to answer everything, uh, but we'll do the best that we, we can. Thanks, y'all. See you in a week.